position. Um, one of the founders of Healthcare for All Colorado. I am delighted to have a chance to tell you a few stories. My mother was a physician and a surgeon, and she had her training at University of California in San Francisco and sailed to China in 1920 as a surgeon to work in a mission hospital in Shandong province. She was very adventuresome and courageous and handled all sorts of medical challenges. And her choice to go to China to serve was because she wanted to make a difference in people's lives and thought she could accomplish more in an underserved country such as China. The only other resources of Western medicine in 1920 was the wonderful Peking Union Medical College, which was established in the capital city of Peking by the Rockefeller Foundation. And it was the only teaching hospital of Western medicine in all of China at that time. And it was a wonderful resource with faculty in infectious diseases and other specialties of medicine. And she was able to consult and get uh, guidance when she had perplexing problems she could not solve on her own. The hospital in which she worked was limited in resources. They had some Chinese physicians and nurses and uh, also trained nurses and anesthetists. Um, mother needed to quickly acquire skills in Chinese language in order to communicate with the staff and with the patients. When I was in college at Pomona in Claremont, I uh, was studying liberal arts and undecided what to do in the way of a career, but my parents were supportive of my choosing any career I wished, and I chose to follow mother in the field of medicine because I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. I wanted to um, have the adventure and intellectual challenges, and uh, I saw Mother's deep satisfaction in the work that she had done, and I thought that would be an interesting uh, career to pursue. I went to Philadelphia to Women's Medical College, which later became co-educational and has been training women physicians for 150 years. The small classes really allowed me to have quality training. Uh, we had two students per faculty person in the clinical years. Lots of hands-on experience. So when I jumped into full-time family practice in Granville, Ohio, after a year of a 12-month rotating internship, I was doing everything, including delivering babies, uh, making house calls, and uh, assisting the surgeon if one of my patients needed surgery. It was a very full life. We moved to Denver in 1959 when my husband, who's a chemical engineer, changed jobs. And uh, my career changed then to inner city maternal and child health clinics. And the next 20 years I devoted to student health at University of Denver and had the joy of working for 20 years in a single-payer universal health system. Stop there.